So my name is Thierry Lutera. I was a Fulbright uh, Schumann uh, grantee last year in 2009, and I'm a professor of political science. What can I say? Well, that at any age you can do it first. In political science, you can do it too. I went to Georgetown University at the BMW European Center, and my purpose was to uh, develop a research uh, on a comparison between security at the border in the States and in the EU. And that was, of course, very successful because Georgetown is a fantastic place. Why the U.S.? Well, basically, when you work on security in the U.S., it's kind of a good place to be in D.C. That's why also I chose D.C. I must say that I have had a long association with the States. It was not the first time I visited the United States of America. But the great thing about the Fulbright program is that I discovered another aspect of the States that I actually didn't know. Um, I had never been in D.C. for a long stay. Most of my experience of the States was small town America, and D.C. is not a small town. And I discovered many things just like, for instance, I thought that in the States everybody says hello to his neighbors. It's not true in a big city. It's absolutely true in a small city. So when you deal with cultural shocks or bumps, for instance, well, part of it is not only about the States, but also the place you're, here, uh, you're, you're in. Sorry. And uh, being in a big city is, different. It is a different experience. Um, another thing that I could experience is the diversity of the United States, and that was also very important because beyond my research topic in DC, I also developed different uh, researches, for instance, on uh, the way Americans live and American culture, um, though it might be shocking for Europeans to think that there's American culture, there is actually, and I also learned a lot. As far as the process is concerned, it was pretty straightforward uh, when you apply for a uh, Fulbright uh, Schumann uh, Fellowship, well, you have to be sponsored by a university, so you don't technically apply to a university, you contact a university or a bunch of universities which sponsor you. So the first step is already done, uh, which is getting in touch with a university, and this is uh, very important. Of course, uh, it can be help with that, but mostly it's your job to do so. And then, if you're accepted, you have to go through the hassle of getting a visa. What can I say about it? It's uh, as bad for American citizens wanting to stay in the EU. I do that now for American students, and it's not simpler. So, the patience is the biggest philosophy, and what is very important is to have all the documentation that is asked uh, from you. It's very important, it can seem cumbersome once again. Uh, the EU asks exactly the same to American citizens visiting the EU, EU. So it's not a personal offense to you. It's cumbersome, everybody knows it, but once you follow the, the steps, it's definitely a very smooth and streamlined process. It can take a, quite a long time, actually, so it's, the sooner you start, the better it is. And that is a very important thing. When you arrive in the States, depending on your level of experience, usually when you're a senior academic, you already have visited the States. I think that the most important is to keep one's mind uh, open. Uh, even if you know uh, the United States, even if you have visited, it's a different experience to stay uh, as a full right uh, uh, grantee. Why? Well, because you are associated at a different level and there are often, especially when you're in big city, there are often events going on. And so you're associated uh, not only with your university, but with the Fulbright network, which is, I must say, very dynamic, and especially in a city like uh, DC. So keep your mind open. It's going to be a great experience and don't be too blasé, it's uh, always exceptional. And I would say that it's uh, what I learned through uh, my experience. Uh, it was not my first time in the States, as I said. I was uh, kind of an old academic when I went there, and it was really something totally new. So it's unforgettable in Ljubljana.